I just wanted to record the short video to discuss Photoshop UI scaling in Windows 10. And this is the very latest version of Windows 10 as of uh, February the 14th, 2018. And I think this applies when you're running the creators update of Windows 10 or anything newer than that. It's just I've been on the um, support forum for Photoshop and some of the comments on there just seem to be at odds with what I'm seeing. Like I personally, I know some people are now saying that the way Photoshop or Adobe have basically linked the UI scaling of Photoshop with uh, the way that Windows scales are, you know, so it's in accordance with the way that Windows scales, which there's just a couple of things with that. One, I don't think it should be like that anyway. I think it should have an independent scale in Photoshop. But I also, I mean, I, I'm, unless I'm missing something, but I can't understand why Photoshop doesn't have the same options as, as Illustrator in InDesign. And what I'm talking about here is if I just go to preferences, by the way, this is a 38 inch wide monitor, um, an LG monitor, and I've currently got 125% uh, uh, scales, percent scalage in window, scalage, scale in windows. Um, and this monitor's native re resolution is 3840 by 1600, as you can see there. And now if I go into um, Illustrator, I'll just create a new file just to sort of show you the, show you the, um, the user interface. Now, I know some of this is, up, well, all of this is sort of personal preference, but to me, this UI is scaled absolutely perfectly. And if I just go into the preferences and go into the um, user interface, I think it is, now, in InDesign and in Illustrator, and I think in some of the other apps, Adobe have just implemented this, where it says for high PPI displays, scale the user interface. And as you can see, I've just got that to scale to higher supported scale factor. And I've just clicked OK and restarted Illustrator. And to me, uh, this interface and InDesign is scaled absolutely perfectly. You know, you couldn't want it, it's perfectly crisp. Um, you know, and you couldn't hope for a better scaling factor than that. That to me, that's just absolutely perfect. Now, I'd love to see an independent scale factor in Photoshop where you can just scale it to wherever you want. But to me, even if Photoshop had just had that the same as Illustrator, that would be absolutely perfect for me. But why in Photoshop have we got a completely different thing? Now, this is literally—I mean, high definition devices or these monitors have been around now for. I don't know, maybe four or five years, and we still haven't got this in Photoshop. I just can't understand why Adobe are still doing this. I don't, unless there's some reason that I can't understand. But in Photoshop, we don't have these settings. All we've got in Photoshop is just a UI scaling of auto 100% and 200%. Now, it's currently set to auto, but it doesn't matter what I set this to. If, if I set it to auto 100, auto 100, nothing, nothing is affected in Photoshop now, unless... As I said earlier in the video, unless you change the scaling in Windows. Now, I'll just show you the... Uh, so I'm set, currently set at 125%. So one would assume that the interface in Photoshop would scale. But it just doesn't appear to do that. So if I create a new document in Photoshop now, you can see here that the UI is tiny. This is just the default 100% UI scaling. You know, i.e. there is no scaling. And that to me is just totally unacceptable. I mean, it might not look that much in the video, but it's actually quite awkward to see, and it hurts, hurts your eyes, actually, if you look at it all day like I do. So the only way that I can get Photoshop, Photoshop's UI to scale is if I actually set this window scaling. I think if I set it to about 150% or higher, then Photoshop's UI does indeed then scale. But the only problem with that then is the 150% scaling in Windows is too much for Windows, the OS, you know, the operating system itself, and for every other app in Windows. So, you know, this linking it to the Windows scale is just totally, it's just not a solution at all, in my opinion. It just doesn't work. Um, so, yeah, I know some people are sort of setting that and then saying it's okay, or some people are setting that and then saying it's blurry in Photoshop. Well, there is another setting that you can change in Windows. If you just right-click over your Photoshop icon, and then right click over where it says Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 and say properties. There is this other setting there in comp compatibility, which I use for quite a few different apps, which says override IDPI scaling behavior. And that'll smooth out any apps. It, basically, it's when, we, when you've set your window scaling, most Windows apps have not been, uh, you know, have not been configured to support high definition devices. So that just you know that just makes sure the icons scale to the uh, same scale factor as windows and it basically makes sure your icons are smooth so i've seen on the forum that some people are setting that and, it, and that's smoothing out their icons for them but i mean to be honest i don't have that 
problem anyway. I mean, if I set my window scaling in here to about 150, then Photoshop will scale and, you know, the UI will look fine. It won't look blurry. But if, the only problem then is Photoshop's fine, but the rest of the operating system and all, all my other apps are then broken. So it's just not a solution, this. I mean, in my opinion, I just don't know why Adobe can't just come in here. You go into um, your, your options. Sorry. You go into your interface options. Why on earth that can't be just a scale that says 100% and goes up in increments of 10 or 20% until it gets to about 300%? Why we can't have that is just beyond me. And what for, what is even more surprising is even if we can't have that for whatever reason, why can't we just have what we've got in Illustrator? I don't understand that. I just really can't understand why they've not implemented the same as what they have in Illustrator and InDesign in Photoshop. I mean, I'll just open Illustrator again now to show you. I mean, look at the difference in the UI. This is scaled absolutely fine as Illustrator. You know, look at the icons there. They're perfectly fine. Photoshop, they're like little tiny stamps. So, I just, like I said, I just wanted to record that video just to make sure that everyone is on the same page and everyone's seeing the same thing as me because if, if they are, then I just find this... I just totally... I just Like I said, I just find it... I'm just sort of dumbfounded why Adobe, you know, three or four years on, still haven't managed to solve this. It's just completely beyond me. It's all right adding new features to Photoshop. I don't really want any new features. I just want this major thing sorting out once and for all. So hopefully um, that may help some people or at least for you to at least see what, so, you know, so we're all seeing the same thing effectively. Okay, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.